All right, today we'll be disassembling a Honda ATC 110, and we'll be taking the recoil, the cylinder head, top end, uh, cylinder jug, piston, clutches over here, output, shafts, we'll be splitting the case. We'll be going through all that today. It's taking the stator, the flywheel off. So we're gonna start by taking the recoil off. And that is just three 10 millimeter bolts. And that is off. This recoil pull starter works great. Some of these older ones will come apart in here. The spring will break or, or the cup will break. And so this one works great. We'll take the intake manifold off. Also two 10 millimeter bolts. And this is off. Then we'll pull the head off and the CDI box here. Two Phillips head screws on the side here. So you can see it a little bit better. And here's the cover to this CDI. Here we will take the 10 millimeter off of there and that'll allow this rotor to pull off here when we pull these Phillips screws. And these Phillips screws will allow, you can loosen these and advance and retard the timing on this one. And that'll just pull off there. So there is the points assembly. There's a, a electrical wire holder here. And then also this one here, it looks like it's curled over a little bit more. You can bend it or you can remove that Phillips head screw um, off this stator cover here. There's your points assembly. Now we will do the same thing here. And you've got to take these out to remove the cam and the cam chain. They're fairly loose already, so. This video will show you how to remove a, a flywheel. You've got to have a special tool to do that on these. That'll just break that free. Now slide right off that cam here, and then we can pull the head, or pull the top of the head first, see what we need to do to get this cam sprocket pulled off here. These are 14 millimeter nuts that hold this head on. 